So I had a question come in. I wanted to turn this into a lesson that everyone can learn from. And the question was this one from Axel. It was about Windows 10 and attaching an Excel file and the file being write protected when you go ahead and open it up. So let's look at why that happens and talk about some things we might be able to do. So once again, on the Windows 10 operating system, I've got the Windows 10 version or the trusted Windows Store platform version of Windows 10, which is the same version that you're going to use if you're using an iPad, an Android device, or if you're using OneNote on the Macintosh. So with this version open, I'm going to look at a spreadsheet, Excel for Busy People Sandbox. Here's a quick look at what that spreadsheet looks like. I'll close it. There it is on my desktop, and I'll go to the Insert tab of the ribbon, click on File, and then on the desktop, I will just open and insert that file. So easy enough so far. Now here's the issue. If I go ahead and open this with a double click right from the OneNote notebook, you see this bar at the top, it says it's in protected view. So I can enable editing and you see right away that this is an indication of what's going on underneath the surface. And that is the file has been renamed. It's not the exact same name as the original one. In fact, it's giving it this nickname Sandbox 2. And again, we'll talk about why that is in just a moment. But now let's just take this A1 cell and just quickly I'll make a change to the text. All right, so making a change to the text is simple enough. Now let's go ahead and save it. Well, with read-only mode, it tells me now that the file is read-only. To keep changes, you'll need to save the workbook with a new name. So now I'll click on OK. Now I can save this to the desktop or to a cloud-based location. In this case here, I'll just save it and we'll just keep the default name of copy of Excel for Busy People Sandbox. And now the changes have been saved. Now let's close this and go back to the OneNote notebook. You see now on my desktop, I've got this. That was the file I inserted. And then that's the file that was created when I attached, open, and then try to make some changes. But here's the problem with the Windows 10 version or the trusted Windows platform version of OneNote, at least it is for right now. This file is not attached to this notebook. If I go ahead and reopen this same Excel for Busy People sandbox, you see that this text was not changed. And you also see once again that it's kind of tweaking the file name here, indicating that really this is a different copy of the file than I originally attached. Now, the reason why this is, is more or less beyond the scope of the course, but you can get an indication of why this is if you go to the file tab of the ribbon in Excel. And from here, you can see that this new file that you created, which has a different name than the one you thought you were opening from within OneNote, it's stored in this location. So it's got this long, or will have this long directory location that ends up in this type of a, you know, yours is going to look different, by the way, but... What you're seeing here is the location of the cache folder that the file was opened up in. Now, if you are using the Office 365 version, which is the version that I use for authoring many lessons in the course, this works seamlessly because the OneNote 2016 version uses the same cache location that the Word 2016 and the Excel 2016 versions do, and all those programs can write to that location. But that's not the case with different operating systems like Mac OS or Android devices, or in this case, with the Universal Windows Platform version of the app. So what's going on underneath the hood is that when you open up OneNote or you open up a file that has been attached to the Windows 10 version of OneNote, those files are opened up in a cached folder and only OneNote can have write access to that cached folder. Other applications like Word or Excel do not have the ability to write to that cache location. Now, is there a workaround? Yes, there is, but it's long, it's convoluted, and you probably don't want to implement it. If you do, you can write an email to us at support at likeabosslearning.com and I'll be happy to share that procedure with you. But in terms of the everyday functionality of the application, my recommendation is that if you're using the Windows 10 version that you just avoid the thought of opening up a file, making changes to the file, that you just view whatever you attach as read-only copies. So if you want to change the file, what you do is you open this up and then you make your changes, save it. You then make your changes, save it, and then once you're done, delete this 
original attachment and then create a new attachment. Again, it's not ideal. Hopefully they'll change it in future versions of this application. And it's also not the exact same behavior that you'll see if you're using the Office 365 version, but that's the way it is. And that's what we have to live with for now. If you have questions about OneNote or any other Microsoft Office application, we're always happy to help. You can always post a question to the class forums, or you can reach us directly at support at likeabosslearning.com. As you can imagine, it's often the case where other students will benefit from getting your question answered.